Hello again. Now we are going to see how to generate G code for a CNC machine with RhinoCam. So, first of all, open, the, open Rhino and open your file. Set the 00, 0 on the top of the object. So, everything should be under this 00. zero. Remember that X is the horizontal long axis of the CNC machine, Y is the horizontal short one, and Z is the vertical axis. OK, now select the object and copy it. We have two objects, the original one and the copy. They are identical. Now do a bounding box of the copy one this bounding box it's very useful to turn or to align objects now we are going to turn it vertically Okay, and we do another bounding box around the original one and move the copy one, the copy object to the original copy uh, original object, and they are both now aligned. Okay, now cut each object with the function mesh stream. It should be only that you can see from the top view. So we, we are selecting where I'm going to be the cut. Okay. This is the final view of our object. Now we're going to generate a stock in Rhino. This is the material dimensions. How to do it? We already done, we have done that. It's, this is this brown box. Uh, so first make a box, select that box, and right click on a stock. Mm, no, this now right click on yeah and select a stock from selection this is an error message because we have done the but now you will have this a brown box with the objects inside okay perfect now click on setup 3d axis machining and how you want to roll in the object. I choose horizontal rosin. Okay. Now create a curve that contains the milling area. Two curves for one for each object. This is because we are working with mesh. If you are working with polysurface, you don't need it. But if you are working like me with mesh, you have to do that. And now select drive containment regions and choose one by one the curves created. It doesn't matter if the curves are, are a different z, z. So you don't care about that. Okay, now click on Tools, Edit, Create or Select and let's set everything about the tool. So diameter is 12 millimeters. This is how is the tool that I'm going to use have a length of 90 millimeters and the other 
settings I left by default. And now I put a name, it will be ball mill 12 millimeters. Okay, now click on Fit and Speech Folder and set all these values. We are using Form. So this, these settings are for Form. So the speed will be 1000 RPM and the feed rates all at 7,000 7, millimeters per minute. The settings are different for each material. Now click on clearance plane. This is where do you want to to move the tool between two uh, milling positions. Now on cut parameters, check a step over control and set it to 20 to 25 percent of tool diameter for a good finishing or set it to 40 percent for a quick work and leave other folders with, with the fall value. Now generate, and here we are, and I think it's a good option to simulate because you can see how it's going to move the tool and check if everything is okay. Yeah. You can do as many simulations as you want and check all the movements of the machine. Yeah. This is for the 12 millimeters tool, and then we need to do it everything again for the 6 millimeters tool, is the finishing tool. And this is the amazing result after the 6 millimeter tool. Okay, now we are going to save the file on your workspace at Setup Horizontal Rosing with right button, select Post, select the machine, match 3mm for, our, for our, our machine, you have to choose your own machine, and save the file .nc that contains the G-code and repeat this step for the finishing. And that's all you got it. Thanks for watching.